The ABCA Video Tip of the Week is presented by Volleyball Training Solutions, an educational resource and interactive website for volleyball coaches, and brought to you by the ABCA. Recently, Front Range Coach Jim Ray and myself visited with Toshi Yoshida, former USA Women's National Team Coach. In this video, we focused on the key components of running an effective slide. We hope you enjoy it. Running a tight slide or a wide slide is a very important offensive tool in the women's game. When we visited Coach Toshi Yoshida's gym in Japan, we found a very effective slide hitter, and we wanted to spend some time examining the components of running an effective slide and see if we can impart some of these components into our own gymnasiums. As we go through these clips, you'll see where the attacker runs to the point of attack, elbows are bent, and she goes slow to fast. You'll also see as she leaves the ground, she drifts horizontally. She stays off the net, as you can see here, drifts to the point of attack, and attempts to attack the ball before the block can be well formed. The components of running an effective slide are the approach, the takeoff, and the arm swing. Let's examine each of these a little more closely. The approach to the slide is a running motion. Notice how the elbows are bent long strides, and we want to go from slow to fast to the point of attack. As the attacker leaves the ground, the elbow stays bent so it can get into an attack position fast. The left foot's planted well off the net so it can drift to the ball. As the attacker leaves the ground, notice the right knee is drawn up to assist in jumping. The elbow is back quickly, so the elbow is back before the left foot leaves the ground. Notice the relationship that the attacker has with the ball, well behind the ball, which will allow the attacker to drift forward and horizontally to the point of attack. The timing for the tight slide is the hitter leaves the ground as the setter touches the ball. So you can see the left foot's on the ground, the setter's touching the ball, the right arm is already back. You want to make sure the attacker leaves the ground well off the net. This will allow the attacker to drift both forward and horizontally to the point of attack. Once the attacker is in the air, the elbow is drawn way back, opening the upper body and allowing a lot of rotation into the ball, which will create more velocity in the attack. As the attacker rotates their upper body into the ball, the elbow is rotated up nice and high that will facilitate a high contact point. As a result of rotating the elbow up, the hand is thrown vertically to the point of attack and notice how the contact is full extension in front of the hitting shoulder. So in summary, we're going slow to fast on the approach, keep the elbows bent and relaxed, get into hitting position quickly, stay off the net, and then drift forward to the ball, lots of rotation into the swing. <music> 